Genesis 19 is one of the most dramatic and shocking chapters in this first book of the Bible. It's rated R for its strong and wrong sexual content. The setting is Sodom, the home of Lot, Abraham's nephew. A few chapters earlier, we're told that the people in Sodom were extremely wicked and constantly sinned against the Lord. Then in the previous chapter, Abraham is bargaining with God to spare Sodom if only 10 people there are found to be righteous. But today we see the utter wickedness of those in Sodom, leaving no doubt that their fate was deserved. Listen as the story unfolds beginning in verse one. That evening, the two angels came to the entrance of the city of Sodom. Lot was sitting there and when he saw them, he stood up to meet them. Then he welcomed them and he bowed with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, come to my home to wash your feet and be my guest for the night. You may then get up early in the morning and be on your way again. Oh no, they replied, we'll just spend the night out here in the city square. But Lot insisted, so at last they went home with him. And this is where the story gets sorted. We're told all the men of Sodom, young and old, they all came to Lot's house, intent on sexually assaulting his guest, the two angels. So as the battle between good and evil ensued in and around the house of Lot, God's judgment falls in the form of sulfur and fire, leaving the city scorched and in rubble but not before Lot and his family were saved. In an instant, we see God's readiness and ability to judge sin and his grace as he faithfully honors his word to Abraham. As for Lot, all that's left for him is one final act in biblical history. And well, it's shameful to say the least, but you'll have to read that part of the story for yourself. <laughs>